Hello guys, so um, I have a little bit of an idea. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I am quite a uh, poster connoisseur. Basically, I really like posters, and since my beloved vlog series has come to an end, I think it would be kind of cool if I were to design a vlog series poster. Now, I doubt anyone would want to actually buy a vlog series poster from me, at least like not the size that I want, but I think it'd just be really cool as like a personal project because you guys gotta think it's summer right now so like my free time since i'm not doing vlogs anymore i gotta find something to do so why not try to design a poster while also making a video about it this is the poster that i'm looking to replace listen okay star trek 5 is not the best star trek movie but like god damn it the poster at the very least is very cool like look at that tagline like that tagline is incredible and also star trek 5 is good you know honestly i i don't care if you hate star trek 5 i hate you that's just that's just the thing Okay, but anyway, still, because, you know, the poster that I want to design, I want to get it in 24 by 36 like this is. I want it to be in a frame, and I want it to be vertical. Obviously, it can't be horizontal like Reservoir Dodge, and Reservoir Dodge is my favorite movie of all time, and that is not going anywhere. So, I figured for this poster, I could take inspiration from, like, these old VHS promo posters. But the thing is, is that my vlog series is not on VHS, at least not yet. That is something that I would like to do at some point. But the vlog series is only available on DVD, as you can see behind me over there. So I figured why not make a VHS promo poster, but like a DVD promo poster in the style of a VHS promo poster. Add my own little spin to it, and I'll show you guys my main inspirations right now. So my first inspiration is an actual VHS promo poster of the original Star Trek series. I mean, it's nothing really too special. Just a random image that I found off of Google that I thought would look cool. You know, some of the taglines on there and some of the information, I, I'll, I'll, I'll snag from that. And then the other thing is the NES uh, Black Box poster, which is not obviously a VHS VHS poster, it's a video game poster, but still cool nonetheless, you know, it has the tagline and it has like all the separate, you know, like thumbnails of like 30 to 40 different games, I think. So at like two o'clock this morning, I took to my incredible notebook and I drafted out my, uh, my idea here. So this will be a DVD promo poster, so it's going to include all of these uh, vlog DVDs, which are all over here. You got 24 of the original vlogs and vlog one and two, they are both combined into one DVD, so it's not 25, you know, if you include vlog zero, it's still 24. So you got all 24 of the original vlogs and then down here, in order to fill up the DVD rack, like completely with only the vlogs, I created like these bonus DVDs. So Eden's last 15 days of school, which was a mini series that I did annually for like three years straight, just kind of like video journal things. Then you got the mini vlog collection, which is all the mini vlogs, extras collection, which is just random bonus material, re-edits of older vlogs, things like that. And the hunt for PV memes is the standalone hunt for PV memes video. So that makes 28 DVDs total. So you can see here like seven or the four maybe, you know, based off of old VHS promo posters, Star Trek, NES Black Box, things like that. 24 by 36 print. And then here is my draft idea. And this is always subject to change. This is just what I got. So a tagline up top, you know, the high school experience. And then these dots, each dot represents a, uh, you know, an image. So this dot, you know, you got the DVD cover underneath it using vlog zero as the example. It'll have the title, the vlog number, and the dates in which it was filmed. So that'll line all the way up top. So we'll have the first 10 vlogs up here, and then like four vlogs lining the side here, four vlogs over here, and then the remaining 10 down here. And then the final vlog shot will be stuck in there. And then Ian Myers vlogs, you know, just kind of out like that. And then the complete series available across 38 discs, uh, miscellaneous info about pricing and credits and full and uncut BHP logo in the corner. So that is my draft idea that I will base this off of. So for each person that was in the final vlog shot, I made them a copy of vlog 24, the final vlog. Obviously most people still need to get theirs. I still need to to deliver a lot of these. But in each one, I just went to the Walmart website and got these pictures developed of the final vlog shot in a five by seven thing. And you know, it's very high quality. You know, I just uploaded it straight from my phone, like the original photo file. But while I was on the Walmart website, I saw that there's an option for posters. So what I'm gonna do before I try anything else is find out how exactly 
these posters should be uploaded and how I should make them. Because my preferred tool for doing any sort of photo editing is pixlr.com, which is basically just a poor man's Photoshop. But that's what I've been using for the past you know, my entire YouTube career, basically. Designing all these different thumbnails and my DVD covers and all that stuff. So I just need to get an idea. I'm gonna upload a test picture to the Walmart website just to see how big of the canvas, like, image size that I should make it. Okay, so we've run into a few problems here. So Walmart's website is a little bit weird and it won't let me like crop the test poster that I'm using as like an example. So I'm just not gonna do that because I think Walmart will just crop it themselves and I don't want it to be like that. So I'm just on the Staples website right now, uh, messing with their poster thing. But the thing is, is that Pixlr, poor man's Photoshop, I looked up the um, dimensions for a uh, digital image in a 24 by 36, like how many pixels height and width it should be. And Pixlr cannot go as tall, like as what 24 by 36 is calling for. So I might, um, I'm gonna have to take some time to troubleshoot this and find out exactly what to do. Okay, so as far as troubleshooting, I found out what was wrong, and I'm pretty sure I have it resized to the point where it'll translate pretty well into the uh, picture editor thingy. But anyway, this is what I'm working with so far to create the individual images. I'm just, yeah, I'm just creating them all separately. DVD cover here, vlog title, uh, bolded and italicized to make it stand out. Then in standard font, we just got vlog zero and then the date. I'm just copy pasting these to get a rough idea of where I'm at. Still very high quality, as you can see, nothing's blurry quite yet. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get to work on the rest of this and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, fellas, well, it's a few hours later and just as a refresher, this is what the um, original draft looked like whenever I made it like less than 24 hours ago. You know, this is what we're working with here. So translating this combined with the inspirations that I've used in the DVD covers that I've made in the years past, this is what I have come up with. See, even Polly enjoys this um, DVD promo poster. So yeah, this is uh, this is it. These prices are just made up. I'm not actually selling these DVDs, and if I was, I wouldn't be selling them for these prices. So the main trouble that I had with putting this together was um, spacing these out horizontally, because like I could get it over here perfectly fine, and I could get it over here perfectly fine, and then getting this centered wasn't the issue. But then the vlog one and two, and then the vlog four, I had to find out like how many pixels to go in between these, uh, you know, vlog three and vlog zero. So that took me way too much time to do because I suck at working with numbers, but you know, they're pretty even. If they're not perfectly even, they are pretty damn close and I'm happy with that. So a slight change of plan had to be put in place because as you guys can tell, I'm leaving out uh, the full DVD covers of these last four on the uh, on the DVD rack for the, uh, the vlog series. And that's just because they, well, you know, they couldn't fit first of all. What? Yes, I know, they couldn't fit first of all. And also if I were to make them to fit, I would have to cut out like a lot of this and I would have to cut out like the, um, the tagline up top and I didn't want to get rid of that because that adds to like the uh, whole promotion part of the promo poster. So instead what I did was I made this tiny little graphic in the corner that kind of just goes over each cover of the respective, you know, DVDs. You know, you got Ian's last 15 days of school right here. You got the mini vlog collection with Riley right here. The extras collection with Cadence from our chemistry project and also the hunt for PV memes with the uh, thumbnail shot for that video. And the camera keeps shaking because Polly keeps rubbing up against my knee. Okay, Polly, I think it's time for you to, to leave. Be free, wild one, be free. So, and then down at the bottom here, it just says bonus Ian Myers vlogs, DVDs also available for purchase. All videos shot and edited by Ian Myers because yes, this is indeed my, my baby. Currently, as of 2022, this is my, my passion project. BHP logo in the corner. And then as you can see, I successfully outlined, you know, all the information with all the main vlogs, vlog numbers, and the dates that they were filmed. And then of course, going back up top, you got the high school experience tagline up there because 
because, you know, technically the vlog series started my junior high years, but vlog number one started near the end of my freshman year. So yeah, it's all outlined here. And then final vlog shot with the uh, subtitle Ian Myers Vlogs, the complete and uncut series now available across 38 discs. Because with all the discs up there, some of them are two discs, some of them are three discs, but all of them combined, these are all, you know, it all equals up to uh, 38 discs total. As you can see down here, $4.95 for each one disc set, $6.95 for each two disc set, and then $8.95 for the three disc sets, which is only vlog 23 and vlog 24. So this is my final product. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out. You know, it took me like a whole afternoon to do, but I mean, hey man, it looks really cool and I'm looking forward to seeing it on my wall. So now that the poster is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the file into the Staples uh, poster thingy. There's uh, $31.50 on this line for this one stupid poster. So hopefully, because this is pretty high quality, you guys saw it whenever I was showing you the poster up close and personal. On the computer, all the text shows up nice and clear like even the small text this should be pretty crystal clear whenever it comes like in the actual poster size and if not then that means that i just wasted uh 32 dollars on something that is completely blurry ground delivery for four dollars and 99 cents estimated delivery july 7th to the 11th i think we can do that it's the cheapest option, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I can order a set of 50 for $1,575 if you guys are interested. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not doing that. So product, <laughs> product subtotal, $31.50, shipping, $4.99. Pre-tax order subtotal, $36.49. I'm really out here about to be a freshman in college, and I'm throwing... Uh, Let's just round that number up. Yeah, I'm throwing $40 away. Cause I mean, with, with taxes, it's gonna be higher. Like I I'm pretty good with saving money, but if it comes to a stupid idea like this, I can be very, very dumb. Ah, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> put, put in my credit card information, I don't care. Man, it's really making me go through a lot of screens. It's like, dude, are you sure you wanna drop $40 on one poster? I'm like, Yes. Place order, grand total, $38.68. Product list, yep, all checks out. Place order. It's taking a long time to load. Uh, yep, order confirmation. Thank you for your order. We've accepted your order and we're getting it ready. A confirmation email has been sent. As long as this thing comes in, like, crystal clear, I mean, I, I think I'm pretty good. I, I think I'm... I think I'm in a pretty good mood right now. So I will pick this video up in two weeks when we find out if this poster thing in the end was really worth it. Yeah, hopefully if you guys are interested in creating a poster, maybe this video has helped you out. Depend Cause like if this poster ends up blurry, then you know to not do what I did. But if the poster ends up perfectly fine, then you know, use poor man's Photoshop, use it in like a full web 4K file because you know, that can easily be scaled down to uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the process, let me know, know down in the comments. See you guys in two weeks. The uh, package is currently on its way. All right, guys, here I am. It is like a week and a half, two weeks later. It's July 7th, so happy bungee day. But I just came home from depositing some money into the bank and I found this on my porch and uh, check it out, staples. So this is my poster. So let's see if the quality on it is really good or really bad. Okay, so taking a peek inside, like looking at the text, it doesn't look absurdly blurry but it probably could be better but again that's just like it's shrouded in darkness whenever i look at it like that so i got printed on matte paper like it's 24 by 36 is what i put so let's see how this looks okay you know what all right i can i can deal with this the um the text on like the actual like this part is kind of choppy looking. Other than that, the colors on it look really good. I view this as a success, like legit. Like this is uh, 
This is pretty cool. I'm actually very pleased with how this turned out. I will say I have two regrets with it. No, three regrets with this poster. So the first thing is that underneath the uh, pricing thing for the single disc collections, I put vlogs one to 17 when it should be zero to 17. Then in the lower left hand corner with like the uh, different emblems for the extra DVDs, I should have made it a little bit smaller to match the BHP logo in the other uh, corner in the right hand corner. And then the third thing Thing, but like the, the third thing I didn't really know how to do, but like since I combined vlogs one and two into one DVD, the title had to be like shrunk down and it looks kind of like weird compared to the rest of it. But I mean, those are like small things. Like, I mean, no one's gonna really like notice that too much. It's crazy because on the actual BHP DVDs, the covers look like really dark because the printer at my dad's work somehow just like can't really handle the, uh, the bold covers or the bold colors, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna watch this happen. Oh yeah, there it is, brothers. There it is. Look at this, man. This is this is some kind of wonderful right here. Yeah, see, you can like barely like just tell that the text on here is like a little bit like pixelated. But like literally, other than that, everything's kind of crystal clear. Like I'm very pleased with how it turned out. This is awesome. And also one thing that I do want to point out is that I was going through some of my old notebooks uh, maybe like a week ago. And back whenever I was going to make VHS tapes of the vlog series, I made a poster design that was kind of like this, where like this idea came from, kind of. I don't know, I'll just show it up on screen. So this shows that I've had this idea for like two years at this point. And it's always cool to watch the uh, the whole thing unfold, you know? Yeah, that's that. I'm going to put it in the, uh, in the frame in maybe like an hour or two. Just kind of going to let it flatten out for a little bit and I will catch back with you guys then. Just to check and see, it's uh, relatively flat, you know. It's not gonna be perfect, obviously, and I'm not gonna wait around all day for this poster to flatten out, you know, just chilling on the floor here. So I think it's finally time to take the poster frame down and get this in the frame. But well, we have this thing right here. Wait, listen to this. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So here we have the final Frontier poster. Just chilling. My Woodstock poster right there. Pink Floyd um, butt album poster, of course, you know. Gotta have that in there. $40 poster going in the frame. Now we get the best part of the poster frame, which is like the protective, whatever this part is called. The part that makes that noise. This is what the poster looks like. Okay, so that concludes uh, my, in my opinion, successful attempt at creating a retro style DVD slash VHS type uh, promotion poster. And if you guys have any questions about the poster creation process, leave them down in the comments. I can try my best to answer any questions. And I hope that if you guys try doing the same thing, it ends up working well for you. It definitely ended up working well with me. I have very minimal complaints with this and um, yeah, I will proudly display this on my wall. And whenever I go to college, whenever I move out to my mom's house, I will put this up right next to my shelf where I will have all the vlog DVDs available to me. So it'll be a nice little corner piece and a testament to how I've spent my entire high school years. So. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. A couple of videos that you guys should be expecting from me is how to put YouTube videos on a DVD and on the VHS. Uh, one last room tour of my room, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what else I come up with. So I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.